we use a brew search command for searching chrome driver on brew package manager we find a cask here so we just use brew install and with the chrome driver cask if you don't have brew please check this attached video now let's ensure that chrome driver is in our path for that we have a simple export command this command is available in description we will create a new project in IntelliJ IDEA. Just name your project. I will name it High Selenium. It's a Maven project, and in advanced setting, you can write some details like group ID or artifact ID. So, after creating this project, you will see that the structure is loaded. We have a POM file as it's a Maven project, and the main Java, we have nothing, but POM file is created with some properties like java version compiler like java 17 etc now we have to add dependency the selenium dependency so i just copied it from mvn repo you can just google this selenium dependency you will find that on mvn repo paste it and just make sure you reload your maven project and in external libraries we will see that this library is added now next we will create a simple program a simple java program create a new java class from here and just name your java class something like selenium example in this case so our empty class is created we will create a main method and inside main method we will be writing our code so public static void main Now we will start writing actual selenium code and for that first we will set path of the chrome driver so chrome driver is a standalone server just simply think this as a way to access your browser chrome and various buttons or various web page elements on the chrome so we are using path from here if you remember we installed from brew windows guys can just use the chrome driver path where they have stored the downloaded chrome browser as i said that chrome driver is a server and we need an instance of this server to access the chrome browser itself so we create object of chrome driver uh, and you can see we cannot resolve this symbol web driver so this classes are not found this is because we just need to reload our maven project once again it seems like all dependencies are not downloaded so you can see we have one dependency here but probably we just need to go ahead and reload once again and see if it works so now we see a lot of stuff are here uh, let's just go and see if we can resolve this classes now okay we see import class option import all the necessities now this driver object will help you to do a lot of stuff like you can go to particular page in this case i will go to google's home page you can access elements find buttons find text box those will come in later series of this tutorial So I'm loading a home page. Basically, I'm navigating to google.com page and then I will just print title of that page. This is just a simple example to show you how we can exactly interact with Google Chrome from a Selenium code, like a Selenium Java code. So you see that I have just used get title method from the driver. So driver now has www.google.com homepage from the navigate to google home page step and then i print the title and we often uh, we have to close the driver it's a good practice so we'll just use driver.quit method after executing this program you will see that browser is loaded automatically you can see it's giving a message that it's controlled automatically and it just printed title of this page the 